Hello, my name is Tom Joubert. I'm the narrative designer on the Talos Principle, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the game here at E3. So the Talos Principle is what we're calling a first-person puzzle, philosophical puzzle game. It's a real abstract puzzler. This is for hardcore puzzle gamers, but it's forgiving as well. We have an awful lot of optional puzzles, you can move through this game at your own pace. The core idea is a reinvention of red key, red door. We can't just we can't just use those old mechanics anymore, we need new systems. So here I've got a jammer. Jammers can prevent anything from functioning and as you can see we need to balance the way that we use these things. So I need to take this guy back here to open up this gate and then bring this guy forward. The only way to progress is to carefully balance these elements. The whole world is taken visually from photo mapping of real world objects. So the guys at Crow Team have gone out to Rome, Egypt, and taken photos and then scanned these into the game. You can see I've just picked up a tetronimo. You're going to get a little bit of narrative here. We have a real Garden of Eden sort of retelling here. We want to be a little bit philosophical. We want to challenge you. Whatever philosophical baggage you bring in, we want to make you think twice about it. Here, I'm going to show you another mechanic. These are the rods, lasers. Uh, we have to take the power source over here and run it over to these gates. Uh, as you can see, we've got a second power source here, which we need to get across the level. But right now, this isn't open. So I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to redirect to here. Now I have this power, but no way to get it home. So I'm going to go and grab the other element. I'm going to bring it home. And hopefully, I'm going to remember how to solve this puzzle and not look too silly while I do it. Um, we have a bunch of different ways to deliver the narrative in the game. We have other beings like you who are exploring this maze trapped here and are leaving messages on the walls. We have this being that lives in the terminals and tries to make you doubt what's going on. We have a godlike character as well who is trying to tell you that everything's okay, that whatever you think is true is going to work. And I'm forgetting how to solve this puzzle while I talk about it. It's not this guy, is it? Here's the guy. I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? So this is an example of the dynamic difficulty. This guy isn't really necessary to solve the puzzle, but I'm going to use it because I'm feeling a bit slow today. As you can see, when I try and connect the blue laser up, it's blocked. So to get there in the end, I'm going to do a little bit of this. Because this door is no longer necessary to keep open, and that should unlock the tech. There we go. And that is the core of the game.